Pay attention YouTubers, this is the map of the inland waterways of England and Wales and uh, regularly get asked where are we and where have we been so I thought I'd go through this again and just show you what we've done on the boat since we picked her up so in March this will be London obviously Bristol the Midlands Birmingham and Manchester Yorkshire we picked the boat up early March here in Hinkley from boatman Benjamin and uh, we took her up the Coventry Canal to Faisley Junction spent some time there uh, getting a few things done to the boat namely the fireplace and time with my brother as well who lives there up to Fradley Junction uh, then across the Trent and Mersey Canal just for a short while down to Staffordshire and Worcester Canal through Wolverhampton down to Kidderminster a uh, short journey on the River Severn from Stourport and then up the Droitwich Canal uh, we spent a fair time there and that was May Bank Holiday at the beginning of May there was a festival there that we went to see uh, then back up into the Birmingham area Kings Norton Junction with the Stratford on Avon Canal then we went down into Stratford on Avon and back up the Stratford Canal onto the Grand Union past through Warwick and Leamington Spa to Napton Junction. Now Napton Junction is the junction of the Oxford Canal and the Grand Union. So we went down to Oxford uh, which was a stunning stretch of canal. Uh, down the River Thames, Upper Thames to Lechlade, back up to Oxford, then down the Thames again to Reading. Uh, from there we went across the Kennerton Avon Canal, which is uh, roughly 80 odd miles, uh, to Bath, and we turned around at Bath, came back to Reading, along the Thames, all this is recorded, the Thames Journeys uh, on YouTube, and then from Reading along the Thames up to Brentford, spent a few weeks in and around London. Um, visiting family etc and now we've come back up the Grand Union Canal here and we're roughly around about here now we're at Berkhamstead actually which is just there so we've done a fair bit already in the uh, nine or ten months that we've been on board so uh, we are two weeks away from Christmas so what we are planning to do now is to carry on up the Grand Union obviously we're going to do this arm here which is the Wendover arm which is only a short distance of it is navigable the rest is being uh, restored then we're going to do the Aylesbury arm and come back and then we're going to have Christmas somewhere around about here uh, maybe up, up there towards Leighton Buzzard and we shall continue up the Grand Union over the next few weeks after Christmas and once we get to here you know we're going to either make a decision do we go as far as Braunston and take that journey there up the North Oxford uh, up to the Trenton Mersey and then up to the north there uh, ultimately we want to be in the Yorkshire area for spring uh, or do we go along this Leicester arm of the Grand Union through the Foxton staircase locks uh, and then onto the River Saw and through Nottingham and that way up into the north. Now I, I really don't mind which way we go you know I want to see everything well we both do obviously we want to see everything this stretch really depends on the River Saw and, and uh, what it's looking like in uh, late winter early spring you know if it's fast flowing and uh, unnavigable then our decision will be made for us to go this way so that's about it um, we want to get up to here that would be great for the summer spring summer next year 
this link here called the Ribble Link into Preston is only navigable uh, between April and October so you can only get across there at certain times of the year and then once you're up there you have to decide do you come back or are you going to stay there up for the winter so but want to get up to here because the walking potential and uh, it is just stunning the Yorkshire Dales is, is just fantastic well I hope that was almost informative for you we could have gone the Google Maps route and uh, sat at the computer for God knows how long trying to fathom out how to do that but this is the easiest thing to do point the camera at the map and that's where we are and where we're going so any questions stick them down below and uh, look forward to hearing from you cheers oh that's what we like nice warm fire but what's this where are we not on the boat francis not on the boat no we're in our little cottage what are we doing here well we had a phone call after some of our guests stayed last week who were actually viewers of ours rented the cottage and unfortunately on their last day water started trickling down from the roof um, so we had to come back in a hurry and repair the damage which was a wall, wall, leaking water tank and as we've said before on the boat life seems to be all about water <laughs> even when you're on land <laughs> you so while we're here we've made it a little bit Christmassy for our Christmas guests um, so we can't be called complete humbugs well you can see from the wall there we've had water ingress come down the walls oh look at the cobwebs there look at that tut tut have to have a word with the cleaner and you can see the stain on the wall there it's just the walls now drying out but yeah so we've been here four days we're coming back to the boat tomorrow which is monday aren't we yeah. so looking forward to yes. getting back and i woke up last night and amid wind and rain and all i could do was think about the solar panels on the roof of the boat are they okay <laughs> but we'll be back tomorrow we'll be fine and it's archie's birthday today yes archie what are you doing up there it's your birthday today archie you're three happy birthday old fella hmm. still got no sense has he i think he's after that cobweb you just pointed out to him How did the shopping go, Fran? I'm disappointed. I failed. So without, failed in what? Well, without trying to preach, and we're not, I decided, we decided, we were going to really try and be plastic free. So I've gone to get a few days shopping. So much I couldn't buy. I wanted to make Christmas cake today, but I can't buy half of the ingredients because everything was in plastic. So we've got no cake. Um, no cake. Did pretty well I just had to shop really really carefully stuff but I've still failed because um, the milk has got a plastic lid on it um, so this so is the trouble with living on a narrowboat isn't it you are really you are limited, limited that's with, the word you, you know you, you this is a supermarket I haven't got a farmers market nearby 
So this was shop. Waitrose, was it? This was Waitrose, which I think are particularly bad. I don't know if I can name names, but I think they, everything was everything was plastic. Um, I've had to pay a fortune for coffee because the only coffee it was actually reduced. That's in completely recyclable box. Everything so what, else was. So that's plastic. called Eco Rose. That's Colombian coffee. Uh, that's three pounds sixty nine for how much grams is that? How many grams? Uh, for 200 grams well, that's reduced but that's it? reduced from five pound but everything else had plastic or, or so has that got a plastic in a sleeve no that's completely recyclable right, okay and then i went to the little garden center because rich has been moaning that the top of the roof looks really messy because the plants are not growing Me so i moan. picked up <laughs> or suggestions so i picked Thank up you. a little basket for the plants and i've realized that they're all in polystyrene or plastic pots so I've left them there. Okay. So well, you're just going to have to sow seeds next year, aren't you, mate? Grow your own. No, I'm going to go and dig them up out of somebody's garden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that a fact? After, everything is going to need really planning ahead. So what have we got here? We've got mushrooms. Mushrooms. The girl didn't like it. All the vegetables were loose. On, uh, all these potatoes just put loose on the bag, on the trolley. Okay. <laughs> So um, this is going to take some rethinking about our shopping habits in the future. Half of the stuff I've gone for, we can't have. So it looks like we're going to be living on vegetable stew cooked on the stove and jacket potatoes cooked in the fire for the rest of the winter. <laughs> so folks, this is going to be an ongoing <laughs> battle for us both, I think, to uh, live a almost plastic free existence on board i think it's going to be near impossible don't you i think in some ways it might save us money because i can't buy a lot of things that i would normally buy i can't buy couldn't even have a jar of marmite oh no because the lid's plastic because the lid's plastic but i like um, a big mug of marmite on the back of the boat in the cold to grow your own <laughs> <laughs> So, so this is go. this is going to be an ongoing thing. We are planning to do a few in in between the vlogs. We're planning to do a few shorter vlogs, aren't we? Yeah. If we can call them a vlogs, just more or less highlighting our life on board yeah. without without going into detail. Well, without going on about where we are, what we're doing, and where we're going. This is going to be about living on board, isn't it? More Just than a little bit each week, maybe a little extra video each week about the way we deal with what might be a basic problem. You know, it might be storage, it might be... I don't know. Me. <laughs> you're not a basic problem, you're a big problem. Uh, what's this, Fran? Well, I'm gutted. <laughs> the box says... These boxes are 100% recyclable, which they are. Unfortunately, the coffee comes in that inside. So I've just paid twice as much for less coffee that's in that box when I could have bought coffee in a bag like that anyway. So what did you expect it would come in, in, in just in that cardboard box? You yeah. Did, you, think it'd be the, you thought the coffee would be loose in there? Yeah. What are you up to then? Oh, sausage rolls. <laughs> It's going to be huge. <laughs> spicy chorizo sausage in them. So it's not, it's, it's vegetarian spicy chorizo oh yes. sausages oh yeah. of vegetarian. Linda McCartney. And I suppose I should be making my own vegetarian sausages as well, but there are a limit to my culinary talents. skills. However, so what, what is that? What have you done with my glass jar? Well, we don't have a rolling pin on the boat. So quite often if I'm cooking in the evening, I would drink a bottle of wine first. And that gives me a rolling pin. <laughs> Not every evening we hasten to add. Because you fill the wine bottle with really cold water and it's a really cold rolling pin. And it is the best thing ever. Who needs a wooden rolling pin? But we haven't had any wine. We haven't got any bottles. So it's a storage jar which now needs washing. But that's perfectly well. So yeah. So uh, I'll put these in the oven. We're going to go and start the boat. We've got seven locks to do. I think. Yeah. Um, so give them half an hour or so, and I'll half an hour. down. Then I've got to in the lock. Lovely stuff, and uh, folks, as you can see, it's a fantastic day for cruising. So, uh, falling down at the first hurdle, with our increasing efforts to be greener. 
uh, but uh, never mind. We've uh, we we'll struggle on. We're trying to be as green as possible. I know we burn diesel, but uh, we don't have a car now. That is actually sold. And um, we are vegetarian. Make no apologies for it. Um, well, I hope we don't harp on about that, as was suggested by one of the viewers recently, that uh, we bang on about being veggies. But the reason we became vegetarian well, initially was for environmental reasons, you know, the amount of land and water, etc., and methane produced uh, to grow meat. Um, but that was our decision, and um, as far as we're concerned, our vlogs are not just about the boat. It's about our life and our lifestyle and the, and the old canal network as well. So, um, yeah, it'll be uh, interesting to see how we cope, how we manage. I know it's a subject a few uh, vloggers have touched on, but uh, Fran Blesser feels really passionate about it. And, uh, well, we'll see how we manage. Catch you next time. finished item.